what is going on everybody welcome back to my channel for those who don't know me my name is will i'm a real estate agent out here in los angeles california on my channel i talk about business real estate entrepreneurship and i help newer agents on their journey in the real estate industry if you're into that kind of stuff go ahead and subscribe to my channel it really would mean a lot to me check it out guys today is an extremely important day all right because today is the day that spider-man no way home comes out and i am hyped as hell for this movie but before I go see that movie, I wanted to make this video because it is probably one of the most important videos that I am going to come out with. And we're going to be talking about why I am a solo agent. Okay, I have had so many people request this video. I've had so many phone calls with newer agents and people who aren't don't have their license yet but are about to get into the industry i've had so many people ask me why i'm a solo agent and why i never joined a team even since the beginning so today i'm super excited to dive right into the subject if you've been subscribed to my channel for some time i actually did make a video on whether you should join a team or you should go solo so make sure to go check out that video i'm going to go ahead and link it up right up here uh, or I'm going to have it down in the uh, description box below, so you just do whatever you want. Uh, but I did make a video about that, but I decided to make this video because I wanted to go into the specifics of exactly why I'm a solo agent. And honestly, I could talk about this subject for such a long time, but I'm going to just do the best that I can to make it short. Even though I don't think it will be, I think it is going to be a long video. So make sure to stay until the end because I promise you, if this is something that you have been thinking about, I think by the end of the video, you're gonna have a lot of clarity on what you wanna do and you're gonna know exactly why I decided to be a solo agent and not join a team. Now, the first reason that I'm gonna talk about of why I decided to be a solo agent is going to be that you have no authority and no control over your business. Well, I don't wanna say you don't have any, but it's very limited to what you don't have, to what you can and cannot do. And let me tell you something that just doesn't make sense to me about that, all right? 95% of people got into the real estate business because they wanted to be their own boss. They didn't want anybody micromanaging them. They don't want anybody being over them and breathing down their necks about what they should and shouldn't be doing. And, and they just wanted to be a little more free and running their own business. So my question is, why would you go from being under an employer, okay, and being an employee, and you wanted to get out of that entire culture you come do real estate to be your own boss and, and to run your own business and be self-employed, but you go and do the very same thing. There really is no difference, guys, especially with a lot of these mega teams, these huge teams all, all across the nation. They will micromanage you. And just as a disclaimer for the rest of the video, I don't want you guys to think that I am bashing every single team that is out there. I know many wonderful team leaders. I know, I know a ton actually. I know, I know a bunch of great teams and great team leaders. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm out here bashing them or whatever. But I'm just telling you exactly how I feel and what my experience is with the whole team thing. Because I know it's such a sensitive subject, especially for people who are just about to get into real estate. Now let's move on to my reason number two of why I am a solo agent and not on a team. And that's just going to go ahead and be, they take way too much money from you. Okay, let's be honest. They take way too much money. I have had so many conversations with agents who are on teams telling me how much their team leaders are taking from them. And it, it shocks me. Like I am so surprised at how much these team leaders actually take advantage of their agents. Okay, I always tell brand new agents that in your first year, it really shouldn't be about the money. It should mainly be about your learning and education. But at the same time, you don't want somebody robbing you. Okay, that is the very reason I left Keller Williams. If you have watched that video of why I left KW, you will know that that is the biggest reason why I left KW. And if you haven't seen it yet, I will also link that video up here or just watch it down in the description box below after this video is over. But that is one of the biggest reasons I left. So you as a real estate agent, as a business owner, and as somebody who is self-employed, you need to discern the difference between somebody taking money from me so that I can actually learn and it is worth the money. And you also need to know the difference between somebody who is, yes, also teaching you stuff, but they are robbing you. They are taking way too much money from you. And like I said, I am one of the biggest advocates for learning and education first in your first year. Like that is number one. But you really have to know the difference if somebody's just taking way too much and you will know it's your money it's your money you know what i mean you'll know if somebody is taking way too much from you 
and it all makes sense once you get that first check, okay? Now, newer agents also really like the whole team environment thing. That is one of the biggest conversations I have with most of these new agents or people who are about to get their real estate license is I want to be, you know, on a team for that team atmosphere and whatever. I totally, totally understand that and I get it. I've been playing basketball for about 13 years now, so I know the impact that the team culture can have. But unfortunately, in real estate, it is a bit different because there's other factors involved. That's the only reason it makes it different, okay? It's not that like, you know, well, we're a team, we help each other. Like, that's not the thing that's different in real estate. The difference is like all the other factors that I spoke about already in this video and I'm going to talk about in this video. So there's so many ways around that, okay? There's so many ways around just, you know, get, getting like the accountability. You can get accountability from everybody. You don't need a team for that. I have many people who hold me accountable for my goals and I'm not on a team. So it is very possible. And the whole thing of like kind of feeling like you're with the team, as you grow in the real estate industry and network with more people, you will feel like you are on some sort of a team or have that team culture because of the amount of people that you know. I personally feel like I have a great team around me of you know, peers at EXP, all the people that I've gotten to know, and guess what? It's free, <laughs> I don't have to pay anything. So there are many ways around that. And like I said, I totally understand that, but I don't think it's worth sacrificing everything else just so you can feel like you're on a team. And believe me, many of the agents that I have personally spoken to who joined a team when I told them not to, okay, we analyzed their situation and I told them that joining a team would just not be the best thing for them. And uh, after that, they, you know, they called me about like six to 12 months later telling me, hey, you know, I'm not really enjoying being on a team. I don't really like it. It's not what I thought it was. And I'm like, well, most of the things that these teams offer you look great, but it, at, you kind of just start to realize six to 12 months in that you're like, I honestly could do this on my own. Like, I don't really need this team to do all this. Now, here's another thing that I want to talk about. Okay. And it is these team leaders spoon feeding new agents leads okay when new agents and you know these licensees and all these people who are about to get into real estate and want to kill it in the game and whatever when they see these team leaders telling them that they're offering them a whole bunch of leads and so much people to work with and all this stuff i mean the new agents go crazy over that stuff okay and i get it it sounds great but unfortunately the apple looks sweet, but then you bite into it, and then it's sour. All right, and that is one great way to explain it for you guys. Like, I'm really sorry, but that's just how it is. Most of these team leaders have a bunch of leads left over from themselves that they just don't really want to work with, and they throw them to you guys. That is what it is. You're basically doing their work for them, okay? And I get it. A lot of these team leaders may be coming from a good place because they just you know they're trying to get these agents to get used to everything and that that's great but if you're a team leader watching this video okay you, you, some of you know that you guys are handing them these leads so that you can have them on a leash you know that you're doing that with some of these agents you're doing it so that you can hold them on a leash and they can be a buyer's agent for you forever you need to focus on letting these agents succeed okay you they think that you know oh i'm closing all these deals i'm doing all this i'm doing all that oh my gosh it's so amazing it's so great it gets yeah, maybe great for a couple of months but you want to actually develop these agents to become rock stars one day doing that stuff is never going to help them because these leads are not their own these are your leads okay this is not going to help them build a profitable business in the future this is just something that they're doing now they're getting experience from it which is great i love the fact that they're getting experience from it but these leads are not their own. Listen, every new agent that is watching this right now, when you get into real estate, one of the most important things that you can do is getting your own leads, okay? Stop resorting to other people in the industry to just kind of like throw you leads and what you can't depend on people to refer business over to you. You need to have your own leads because that is what's gonna set you up in the future because your own leads are gonna refer you business until you are done being a real estate agent. And that is the truth, okay? A lot of team leaders spend tens of thousands of dollars a month on Zillow leads and just kind of throw them at these agents and tell them to do something with it. These agents can do that on their own. They can go and get those leads by themselves. They can do the same exact thing that you're doing, okay? 
And I'm super passionate about this topic because like sometimes I feel like some of this stuff needs to stop. It, it's a gimmick. Seriously, it is a gimmick and it needs to stop. And listen, please, 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 team leaders, don't get pissed off at me that I'm saying this stuff. I totally understand that some of you are handing leads to these agents for their development. I love that and that is great. But we need to think longevity here, okay? Like we actually need to think about these agents' development, not just holding them to a leash on like kind of being a buyer's agent for you forever. Unless that's something they wanna do. If they wanna do that, okay, great, no problem. But most agents don't, okay? They actually wanna to develop to be rock stars like you one day. They wanna be in your position one day. What are you doing to develop them to become like you one day? If you are somebody who's selling 50 to 100 homes a year, you are a rock star team leader and a rock star agent. What are you doing to help your agents get to that level as well? Or are you not helping them at all? That's a question you gotta ask yourself, okay? That is not something that is on me or whatever. That is a serious question that you guys need to ask yourself. You know you need to be asking yourself that question. Now, being a solo agent is risky, okay? It is very risky. And I don't deny that at all. I have been a solo agent for about three years now. So I totally get the journey. But the cool thing about it is every house you close, you did that. Like you could say you did that and nobody else did that for you. And I know that many people think that like pride is getting in the way of that, but it's not. It is important that you are like that. It is important that you depend on yourself in this business because that is how it's going to be. The rest of your career is going to be like that. Owning any business, I don't care if it's real estate or whatever you do, that is how it's going to be. You need to depend on yourself for the business that is coming your way and you need to work for it yourself. Stop depending on team leaders. Stop depending on other agents. Stop depending on other people. Go get your leads yourself. Get on social media. Start door knocking. Start cold calling. Start the lead generation stuff that you know you need to be doing. You don't need a team leader for that. Do it yourself. Catch yourself a mentor, you can do it yourself. Like seriously, I don't think some of you understand. There really is not much you can tell me to like give you a good enough excuse for why you should join a team. I really don't think so. I have had a few phone calls with agents with the most specific situations you can possibly think about where I actually did recommend that they join a team for, and even when I recommended that, I was like very little time, very, very little time. I told them, I said, go ahead and join a team, do what you gotta do. I understand your situation because if there's one thing I'm not, I am not biased. I will listen to your situation and tell you what I personally think is best. People who have had a phone call with me or have had one-on-one -on -one meetings with me, you know that. I will tell you it as it is. So even though I recommended that to some people, I still said that, listen, give yourself time and end up going solo. Like as fast as you can go solo. Don't stay on that team forever. Like don't get sucked in and get comfortable with the leads that they're giving you and all the stuff that they're doing that will not benefit you in the future. One of, if not the biggest reason why brand new agents want to join a team is guidance and mentorship. That's my subject right there. <laughs> you know, like that stuff is really important to me. But let me tell you why that is the biggest reason not to join a team. You could easily, like when I first started in real estate, you could easily go and get yourself a personal, personal mentor who is gonna charge you 15 to 25% on each transaction. Okay, they're gonna show you every single possible thing you need to know like everything you need to know so my next question for you if you're thinking about joining a team why do you need a team leader to do that for you what's the difference between a team leader doing that for you and a personal mentor doing doing that for you i'll tell you what the difference is the difference is, is the team leader is probably not going to have that much time for you the way your mentor will, because your mentor like literally signed up for that to be a mentor. Team leaders, especially the ones that are like mega team leaders, that, like just don't expect them to help you that much. Seriously, like don't expect them to give you the mentorship that you think that they're going to give you. So the biggest difference is they're just going to be charging you way more than a mentor does because these team leaders usually take like half your commission. Okay. 
while your mentor is probably going to take 15 to 25%, like I said. So financially, it's way different. Time-wise, it's way different. There's huge differences in it. But the difference is your team leader is going to be taking way more from you than you're actually going to be getting. So it there's no beneficial aspect financially, time-wise. There's no beneficial aspect to be, being with a team leader. Now, I just want to say again, because it's extremely important, that being a solo agent is a huge risk, okay? It is a big risk the way running any business is going to be. But the great thing about going that direction is it is gonna pay off better than you can ever imagine, okay? You will fight, you will struggle for the next three to five years. But after that, it's gonna be a different ball game. You're gonna be way ahead every single person who decided to join a team i promise you put somebody on a team make somebody a solo agent both have drive okay and both want it give both of them five years and we'll see what happens both have the same drive okay both have the same the, the, the you know they, they both have the same will and they really want to get it done and they, and they want to be successful but the reason why the solo agent is going to win no matter what is because of the things that will hold you back that is out of your control being with the team your splits your time micromanagement all the stuff that you know i've been talking about no successful business owner ever became successful without first putting up a fight so please please don't shortcut your career for meaningless zillow leads that are being handed to you that you can get on your own all right go out there and do it yourself okay go be the self-employed boss that you wanted to be go do that go do that now and i totally understand that some of you cannot take that risk you know you just can't afford it and you know you just can't do it but respectfully why would you get into something where there's only risk involved. Why would you try owning a business if there's only risk involved? You know, why, why would you do any of that? Because I know a lot of people get into it and need to close a deal immediately. You shouldn't be that way because first of all, you should not go into real estate full time. You need to go into real estate part time first, okay? And support yourself financially with another job until real estate picks up. So that is also another excuse. Like that, I'm telling you, just everything that that I can possibly think about so many scenarios it just leads back to like there's an answer for it so no you don't need to do that and even when you close your first deal which most agents don't close them eight months down the line you're gonna get a huge cut out of it so you're not even gonna make that much money so all that eight months you're barely gonna make a small check out of it so i'm gonna close out this video like this ironically i want to be a team leader one day <laughs> okay i want to run my own team and I want to be a team leader one day. And I know that you're over thinking like, dude, I just watched this entire video of you bashing teams and you saying why I should not join this team. And now you're sitting here telling me that you're going to be a team leader one day. Yes, I'm going to be a team leader one day. But the difference with me is I'm going to completely revolutionize the idea of being on a team. Like mark my words right now, when you guys see Will, when you see me as a team leader one day, it is gonna be a completely revolutionized team from all the bogus that's going on nowadays. A lot of people are already heading in this direction, which I love, and a lot of content creators, like a lot of people on YouTube that you'll see who run these teams, like they're going that direction, which is why like shout out to most of my content creators out there who have their own team and are actually developing these agents. But let me tell you what my goal is with these agents and why I'm saying that I'm gonna revolutionize it and make it completely different from what is going on today. So my main focus when I have my own team one day is going to be agent development, like serious agent development, okay? Not this stuff that people talk about, like come join my team and I'm gonna help you out and whatever, like serious agent development to the point where am I gonna give them leads? I'm probably going to, yes, to develop them as agents, to understand what's going on. Yes, I'm going to, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to spoon feed them leads to the point where they're feeling comfortable with it. That is something I'm not going to do. What I'm going to do is I am going to give these people leads, but I'm going to show you and teach you how to lead generate 
you know, leveraging social media and all the other ways that you can lead generate and prospect. I'm going to teach people how to do all that so that they can form the business themselves, get the leads themselves, and one day not be on my team anymore. Yeah, not be on my team anymore. I want them to go solo. I want them to be solo agents so that they can do what I'm doing. I want to inspire a new generation and a new set of people to continuously grow and get better and do what they came to real estate to do. These people came into real estate to become self-employed and be the best version of themselves. Am I going to hold them accountable? Of course I am. Am I going to micromanage them? No, I am not. I'm going to be there and do whatever I can to make sure their businesses are great. And how am I going to be, how much am I going to be charging these people? Well, I don't really know yet, but I, what I will tell you is I'm not going to be taking half the commission. I probably will be taking a mentor's fee. That, so, because at that point, whether you go with a mentor or you go with me, you're paying the same exact thing. So financially, I'm, that, that is like, there's no objection, uh, objection with that. Financially, you'll be fine with me. I'm not going to charge you anything more than what the usual mentors charge, which is like 15 to 25%. To make it simple, what I want to do is I want to take all the benefits from being solo and all the benefits from being on a team and mend the two together. I want to put them together all in one place so that all these agents can finally enjoy the benefits of both. They don't have to pick and choose like, oh, what do I want to do? Oh, I'm not sure if I want to join a team or go solo and all these benefits and pros and cons and all these YouTube videos that I've seen and all this. Whatever. No, I'm going to put it all in one place. You're going to have all those benefits in one freaking place and we're going to make it happen. That is my vision. That is my plan for the next five to 10 years. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to like the video, comment, let me know where you're at in the whole process right now and subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. Make sure to follow me on my social medias. My Instagram and Facebook will be down in the description box below. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my weekly newsletter that will also be down in the description box below. But other than that, I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you all on the next one.